Welcome to Frost Astrophotography. In this video I'll show you how to fix problems with the focus tube or focuser slipping due to the weight of your equipment on your telescope. In this video I'm going to address the issue with a slipping focus tube and problems with the ZWO electronic focus motor because of that. I recently finished my observatory and mounted my telescope and did the polar alignment and the other day I had my first clear night or somewhat clear. I thought I'd try it out and I ran into some problems. I've been using this setup since last season but I've did some work on it in regards to cable management and testing out a few components and that means that I've been handling the telescope on and off the mount and I ran into some issues with the uh, focusing the other night and I thought I'd share this uh, with you. I started with the autofocus routine. I also added focus for all of my filters here in the uh, electronic uh, filter wheel and after that ran through uh, and I did a test image with my luminance filter uh, it seemed fine I then changed to another filter and then changed back to the luminance filter and the focus was off I didn't know uh, why that happened. I thought it was uh, a, an out of focus uh, problem. I thought it was something with the steps or the offset calculations or something like that. I ran through the entire procedure one more time and I was still having problems. Then I noticed that the uh, focus tube was actually slipping or it was not uh, uh, getting enough friction to move inwards like it was supposed to do. I also had the scope pointed almost exact exactly up for the uh, target that I was testing on. So my conclusion was that there was not enough friction for the focus tube and for the motor to uh, actually move it inward because of the weight of all of this equipment. I then manually tried, when it had slipped out a bit, uh, I manually tried to move it all the way in, but it was not responding at that point to movement at all. So, uh, I'm going to disassemble this today. I'm going to see what the problem is and hopefully there's a way to fix it. I'm unhooking the cables here and I'm now going to remove the camera. I'm actually not going to remove the camera from the filter wheel. I'm going to remove the entire filter instead. You can see here that I have spacers and I have the uh, Skywatcher uh, reducer flattener and then I have the Skywatcher camera rotator. This is a manual rotator that attaches directly onto 
the uh, focus tube here and then to the uh, reducer flattener on the other side. I have a separate video on this. I haven't actually been using this much but I'm going to keep it on even though it's a bit extra weight here. I don't want to remove everything so the next step is to turn this over, have something to put it on and then remove the focus motor to see what's going on with the focus tube here. With the focus motor removed, I can actually feel the focuser to see what is wrong. And this is actually touching a bit. So I, I'm guessing this is not good. I could actually move the entire focus tube here with my hands uh, out without too much effort. So that that is not good. I need to have more pressure on uh, the focus tube. I need to have more friction for this to actually grab on. Taking a look on the bottom of the telescope, you see we have a coarse focus knob. We have a fine focus knob. This is a two-speed focuser. You might have something else on yours. And on this side, there's no, normally also a knob like this, but since I have the focus motor here, I don't have that. Uh, you have some holes here. The uh, four screws out here is to hold the uh, focuser uh, to the tube and telescope. You have a couple of screws here to level uh, the uh, focuser on the tube. You have a hole here that is normally used for the uh, locking screw. Uh, if you don't have a focus motor you might want to use the locking screw after you have achieved focus to lock it into place. But since I have the focus motor and bracket I'm unable to have the locking screw here or I could drill a hole in the bracket and attach a, a longer screw but I'm actually using these two holes to mount the bracket for the motor. Uh, when the motor is engaged you normally don't want or need to lock the focus tube and the focus because uh, if you are operating this from inside or remotely, you won't be able to lock the tube anyway. The uh, final screw in the middle here is actually the tension screw that uh, let you adjust the amount of tension to create friction between the uh, focuser here and the focus tube. And that is actually applying pressure to this area here. As you can see here, we have some wear 
So that is actually just applying friction or tension on the very edges here. Now I've seen uh, uh, a lot of videos uh, where you have people sanding this down so that pressure and friction will be applied on the entire surface. But I'm not going to do that today. I'm just going to try to uh, adjust the tension and friction to see if uh, that helps. And then I'm going to assemble everything again. After adjustments, making sure that uh, these four screws are securely tightened. You have tightened the leveling screws here to make sure that when you rotate the focus knob, the axis is uh, completely leveled and centered. And you've tightened the tension screw in the middle here you can move it now mine is a bit stiff now but the uh, ZWO focus motor is uh, high in torque so it should be fine you can also use the the fine tuning and you feel that well it's it's a bit uh, it's a bit tight but at, at least you can uh, screw it adjust it now the main test, before I adjusted all of this, I could actually with very little force move the focus tube out. And if I try now, I can't do that. And that was my main issue. The focus tube was not uh, on a, a high enough tension, not tightened enough. So with the weight of all my equipment, the focus tube was actually slipping out, more or less depending on the position of the uh, scope, of course. I have reattached the focus motor and the bracket that holds it and aligned everything. And everything is tightened down. Time to Put the camera and filter wheel back. Thank you so much for watching this video and please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're not already doing so. And until the next video I wish you have clear skies.